criticism. How much of a blow was it for Prime Minister May last night's defeat? Well, it was not helpful. Um, it, I don't think it makes any significant difference in substance because it would have been inconceivable that the House of Commons, at least, would not have had a vote on the final uh, agreement because, you know, you can't do something as serious as this without the House of Commons voting on it. Um, and uh, I think in terms of the uh, disadvantage to uh, Theresa May, I think it simply illustrates the fact that she has a very, or has no majority in the House of Commons from her own party. Uh, and therefore she is always going to be vulnerable uh, to minor uh, rebellions of this of this kind is her is her is her authority further diminished? Well, it's certainly after not, last night. I, I, it's certainly not strengthened, mm. um, and that's not helpful. But neither is it uh, catastrophic. Yeah, meaningful vote. What does a meaningful vote actually mean? Well, it must, For, I, I suspect, mean that uh, the House of Commons has a, the ability to. Uh, vote down and prevent the deal taking place. And if you vote, do you have time then to, you know, negotiate another deal before... Well, that's not clear, you see, yes. because, uh, because the timing is very tight. Because the EU27 have insisted that no uh, negotiations, no discussions on the framework for the future trade agreement could start until now. And, of course, you can't have a withdrawal agreement without there being an agreed framework for the future uh, trade arrangements, the future relationship on security and other matters, mm. including trade uh, and investment with the EU. Um, and Article 50 is absolutely clear about that. So there's very little time for that. So t this is going to be very time pressured. The effect is not at all clear whether you can um, uh, withdraw uh, uh, from Article 50 notification. The indications, I think, are that you probably can't, but it's at best uncertain.